Hi, everyone. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about direct preference optimization, or DPO in short, of large language model to reduce toxicity. So uh, the goal of the project is implement DPO. We learned about theory behind DPO in the class, and I wanted to give a shot in implementing it and trying it out to reduce toxicity, just like we did with RLHF and PPO policy and fine tune an LLM. In this case, I picked mixed, Mistral Instruct 02 and to show that this technique works and reduces toxicity. And I'll discuss results later. And why is this important? As you all know, LLMs generate text that can be harmful and toxic. And TPO, DPO are some of the latest techniques to align LLMs with human preference. And DPO is considered one of the most robust and simpler technique uh, to align with human preference. And we'll go a little bit more in detail, just uh, a refresher on DPO. So what is DPO? I won't spend a lot of time, but just to give uh, context, uh, I'll describe briefly. Uh, so in reinforcement learning with human feedback or PPO that came out uh, uh, and became very popular with ChatGPT about one and a half years back, we first learned a reward model uh, that is uh, using prompts and human preferences and labels, it may be rating, it may be an order, and using that reward model during the RLHF training phase to fine tune the model to learn human preference. And this is a little uh, complicated because we have to learn a reward model separately. And DPO that came out from Stanford in this paper uh, reduces that complexity by training the LLM directly. The paper claims that your language models can secretly learn the reward model and you don't need a separate reward model. And so based on the prompts and uh, preferences, you can train the LLM directly and learn the human preferences. And DPO, it seems, is one of the most popular human preference learning techniques now. It's more robust, it's simpler, and since DPO came out, there has been a lot of variants of this IPO, KTO, which is basically IPO regularizes so that you uh, uh, don't uh, uh, fit to the data uh, and overfit the data. So, so it's one of the latest techniques and uh, I wanted to give it a shot in implementing and uh, uh, seeing its effectiveness. So I used the anthropic RLHF data set that we used for PPO training, uh, converted it to DPO format, which is basically you are given a prompt and you are given two output. One is chosen, one is rejected, and picked 10,000 examples from the training set and 50 examples from the test set. And uh, uh, this training, uh, it, uh, the implementation I'll show you in a minute. It uses a DPO trainer from TRL library. I picked Mistral 7B instruct. I tried the Zephyr. I tried Olmo. Uh, I tried Mistral 7B base. And this one, uh, uh, like it, it seems uh, uh, in a couple of cases, I got good results, but this was the best result I got with instruct. So I wanted to show with Mistral 7B instruct. And uh, uh, I'll go through quickly the notebook. Uh, so hope you can see the notebook and basically uh, uh, like sort of uh, using the Mistral 7B instruct 02. I've uploaded this DPO model uh, in public access on my hugging face. And basically, uh, yeah, you load the model slightly different way compared to RLHF, where you have to uh, have value head and uh, uh, some PEF configuration. So these are the uh, layers uh, that uh, you apply LoRa uh, weights to, and then basically various arguments you have to set up, 
with this much learning rate, batch size of four and gradient accumulation of four and 300 steps. So it, with 5,000 example, this uh, like covers uh, pretty much the whole data set with this setting. Uh, about 4,800 examples are trained with, and this is just some uh, code to convert the data in prompt, choose and reject it format, and uh, uh, getting the, uh, uh, like about 10,000 examples in training and 1,000 in evolved data set, and then using DPO trainer uh, from TRL library to train this model in DPO setting with uh, uh, beta 0 0.1, uh, that's shown to be uh, work, working well for DPO. And uh, so in terms of some of the results, uh, uh, like uh, I compiled the results, I can uh, talk about it, I can show it on the notebook also. So uh, I took 50 examples from the test set and uh, using a Mistral 7B instruct, I got toxicity score of 0 0.108. Basically toxicity uh, scores uh, Hate it uses a hate speech classification, which is bird based uh, to identify toxicity. And uh, uh, I got 0 0.011 one about with Mistral 7B instruct. And after DPO training, I got 0 0.0056, which is like 48% reduction in toxicity score. And uh, uh, yeah, so that's kind of experimental setup and results. And uh, yeah, so in conclusion, uh, we covered the background of DPO, uh, described the training experimental setup, including the data set and implementation, demonstrated that DPO training uh, for Mistral 7B instruct model works, and it reduces toxicity by 48% in this uh, test set. And in this process, learned a lot about alignment, human preference, DPO. Uh, uh, like I had like sort of whole weekend, I was trying different uh, settings, parameters, different models. And that in that iteration, learned a lot about different uh, like sort of uh, whole training process, parameters, DPO. Uh, so it was a great learning project uh, and uh, it seems uh, it works well uh, through these results.